There's two main reasons to make PPC reports for clients. First, custom AdWords reports increase the perceived value of your services. Most clients, specifically local business owners, could care less about the fine details of their campaigns, but they do want to get a general sense of return on their ad spend. Whether they end up looking at your reports or not, the fact that you have one puts them at ease. The second reason to invest in PPC reporting tools is because they are useful for your own reference. Most agencies assume the dashboard is just for the client, but in reality, it serves as a solid tool for you and your marketing team to analyze overall performance of campaigns, and this is especially so when you're managing multiple accounts and services. There's dozens of paid reporting tools for PPC campaigns, but the best in most cases are the free applications Google gives you. Google Analytics gives you the ability to create AdWords reports, but this tends to lack in visual representations that are often needed. Instead, you could choose to create automated reporting in the Google AdWords dashboard itself. This reporting UI is fairly easy to use, but it lacks integration with other software, so you won't be able to compare data across multiple different campaigns. Let's say you want to compare SEO data to PPC. Lastly, and perhaps the best tool to use, and my personal favorite, is Google Data Studio. Google Data Studio is simple to use, can pull in data from multiple different sources, looks professional, and provides a live dashboard reading of your client's accounts. Okay, so for this video, I'm not gonna go into an in-depth explanation of Google Data Studio, but I will give you some of the details about what it's like, just so you can make a judgment for yourself of whether or not you wanna use it. This is the front page of your dashboard, so you're gonna see all the different dashboards that you're associated with. This is all owned by me, shared by me, and then trash. These are your data sources, so if you jump over here, you can pull in information from multiple different softwares. Um, so you could get Google Analytics, Google Ads, you could do Google Sheets, Search Console, YouTube, uh, Amazon, AdRoll, you could do call rail, constant contact, MailChimp, Facebook ads. So they've got a bunch of different features here. They don't really have everything at this point, but you can develop a worst case scenario for what you need um, and just develop for the, the API that you need uh, in most cases. So you basically just pull in that source and then it will connect here. And now you have that Google AdWords source for your client. And now all you got to do is go over to your reports and create one and then it will prompt you to use one of the sources itself. Uh, yeah, select the data source, so you can do something like that. And it's automatically made here. It's kind of like any other, like the Google Drive products where it just automatically makes it and saves it for you. Um, or you can use one of the templates that they have pre-made. Um, they got SEO, Search Console, um, e-commerce, PPC, and then Google Ads for just like uh, CPA or, or lead gen. Um, so you could choose to just copy this template over and then import your source to this and it will pull in the right information for your, your client's AdWords uh, campaign or account. But I made a custom one and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is a custom report for one of the client's uh, office spaces, this is for a dental client. Um, and the first thing we'll note is that right now we're in the view mode so we're not in edit. Um, so we're just viewing this as they would view it. So up here you can actually see a page selector tool. So you can click down to this or press next and go to the different pages here. Since they have multiple different offices for this person, we are setting up um, the overview pages here and then particular pages right here. So let's just go back. Um, I'll show you what the edit space looks like. So let's edit this. and. You know, you got these filters up here that you can change around. Whenever you have something selected, you got the data side, which you can pull in what data you want for metrics and dimensions and do uh, what order you want, a bunch of different tools there. Uh, style, it has the various styling options so you can make things visually appealing. Um, and then we got the uh, date range selector here. So let's just go through this. So you got filter controls, date range, uh, data control, URL embeds, you can even embed stuff in here, uh, type images, rectangles, uh, shapes, and then also different kind of graphs. So you got graphs and tables, uh, maps, pies, <laughs> scatters, everything. Um, but what we'll look at is the top level information here. So this is singular 
high level account information. So this is account wide costs, search impression, clicks, impressions, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then all I did was changed up these conversions to more uh, specific conversion actions. So form submissions, calls from website and from ads, and then cost per conversion and conversion rate. And then down low, you want to do more like trending data. So people want to see, okay, this is a snapshot of that in this time period, but like, how is it trending over time? Um, and then further down, I even split it up a little bit more. So you get to see the conversions based off of the conversion type. And uh, you can see that our campaigns are doing a lot of phone calls, or at least this specific account is for conversions. And then going down a little bit further, um, you can see market share. So just comparing search impression share to the total impressions that are available. Uh, it's pretty good to see, just to see like how effective your campaign is at dominating the space. Then you got budget utilization. So this is just how much are you spending or how much do you have uh, budgeted for Google ads? And then how much are you actually spending week to week? For this one, you do need to make a custom parameter or custom new field down here. And all I did was take the budget and then times it by seven. For some reason, there are still some bugs here. So when you put in budget, it doesn't times it by the, the date range that you have. It just gives you the daily budget there. So you have to actually make a fixed one like that. That's something little that you'll find out. Um, and then down low, I just split it up by campaign so you can actually see the granular data here. Uh, you can do a lot more, and if you need to make this longer, you can do that simply by coming down here, changing the width, changing the height. Um, there's a, really a lot of options that you can do with Google Data Studio, so that's why I like this. Um, it has a ton of flexibility, and it's completely free, and the dashboards are live. So it's an awesome software to use, and if you're just looking for a quick solution for PPC reporting for your clients, then I would go with this. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below and need any sort of help. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.